this is another different one so I don't know whether you guys remember we bought a car from Cinch and I bought it from his son and uh, we documented it all well <laughs> today is a strange day because that car has since been returned I've had two months of absolute hell with Cinch and they basically sold us a dud my son went out for the first time driving and uh, he broke down within probably about five hours and then basically the car has just been an absolute nightmare for the last two months going back and forwards to uh, uh, places to get fixed um, coil pack issues then they weren't sure whether it was just a spark plug issue and then they weren't sure whether it was a fuel issue and it was over fueling and there was just excuse after excuse about what it potentially could be and every time they kind of sorted it then within like a day or so it will break down again so the car was basically being uh, identified as a bit of a dud so um, we returned it and um, I mean since their customer service are exceptional they are such great people to speak to they want to help you but their system is crap so what we've done is returned it after toing and froing got a full refund submitted our damages in terms of uh, how much it's cost in insurance and um, how much extra we had to pay in my son getting ubers because he couldn't have his car and there was a load of things they refund us for the car mats that we had to buy um what else did they refund they refunded a number of things to the value of around 450 pounds so i mean cinch have been a pain in the ass in terms of the crap that they sold us but they've done a good job in looking after us so i must give them a full credit for that but it's a scary place looking for a car through cinch so today we found a new car it's a 21 plate and I, I went for a, a newer vehicle, so we wouldn't have maybe so many problems, but who knows, you could have problems with any vehicle. So we're going now to use another company, very similar to Cinch, Kazoo. And you're all probably thinking, oh, another same sort of business, you're gonna get the same issues. At the end of the day, I've paid extra for a year's warranty, let's see where it takes us so we're going to kazoo just waiting for my son now he's so excited he's just come back from holiday yesterday and now he's picking up his new car fingers crossed this one is going to be a winner and it's absolutely gorgeous it's got a brilliant spec it's a uh, a peugeot 208 21 plate new shape and and it's got all the whistles and buttons and whatever you want to call it all the bells and whistles that's what they you say so uh Waiting for him to come out and uh, let's uh, bring you guys for the ride and see how this one turns out. I will catch you very shortly. Here he comes, Hello. Mr. Scruff. <laughs> no, I've just had a wash, that's why my hair's like a bit wet. Hello! <laughs> How you doing boss? I'm great, how are you? Yeah. I'm good. Did you have a nice holiday? It was good, it was a great holiday, yes. Good. It was great. Right, where are we going? We're going lakeside now to pick up my new car. Yeah, where from? We're from uh, Cows Kazoo. Kazoo, that's it. What happened to the last one, Max? The last one, the engine, um, just, the engine said no <laughs> and it wouldn't move. What a nightmare. So I've just told everyone what's been happening. So let's go terrible. to Kazoo. <laughs> Saga continues. We have arrived over at Kazoo. 
the better way to buy your next car. And what they do is they highlight imperfections on their website. There was five imperfections on here, which we were okay with, but there's one particular, actually there's two in particular imperfections that we're um, not happy about. One of them being quite a large dent in the crease on one of the doors, which uh, I'm going to show you. Here. This one, that wasn't uh, not noted down in the imperfections. And also there's another um, worrying factor here as well. So we've got a very small gap on the bonnet on this side and quite a large gap on this, which makes me feel like it's had a big front end accident. And also the, uh, the bonnet, you can't really see from the film, but the bonnet, there's loads of uh, swell marks on the bonnet and then they finish in a nicely painted front bumper. So what we reckon is that this has been involved in a big accident but not registered. So if you go to Car Vertical and you have a check and see if this had any accidents, they haven't actually logged it, but it could have been done privately. So we're just in uh, conversations with them at a the moment just to see where we stand and uh, if there's any other data or information on this particular vehicle. But yeah, the saga continues. rejected the car. Here it is. It wasn't the better way to buy your next car, like they say, but the guys in there have been very helpful. But unfortunately, Max, what do we think of Cinch? What do we think of Kazoo right now? They're no different. <laughs> Terrible, honestly. Just get a brand new car. The only good car in this car park, Rappi. Still mint. So right, we're going off to uh, some garages. Day off. Let's go and see if we can buy a car for Max because he is down in the dumps. Well, that's it. We're going now to look for cars again. This is becoming a bit of a saga. <laughs> <sighs> it's not a great experience, a but one. these guys have been really nice about it. So, Kazoo. It's not always their fault, but who knows? But see you later, Kazoo.